Hey, mini fish. 6th of September 2021. I do pray that you're well. I was making a video on 9 11 and doing some research, and lo and behold, I come across an article this morning a video from Israel 24 News. This is in Israel that this article takes place. So it's just ironic to me as I'm doing my 9-11 research. It brings me to Israel. And I'll let you be the judge as to where in the timeline you think the world is. God bless you. People say Joker and Bizarro are mad. Not mad. Differently sane. I really like the fact that uh, she's really honest and she's very sassy and you very can relate to her. The thing I'm most excited for this show specifically is for her to read me to filth. Just, you know, claw her way through my soul. Drag royalty in Tel Aviv. Bianca Del Rio, winner of RuPaul's Drag Race season six, was originally meant to come to Israel in June 2020 to open Pride. But the appearance was canceled due to the coronavirus pandemic. She finally arrived last week with fellow drag legend, Sherry Vine. Well, it's amazing to finally be here because it has been two years in the making, maybe even three that we were trying to get out here. So luckily restrictions worked out. We were able to get from America to be here. So I have been nothing but delighted. I've been drinking wine and eating hummus since I got here in quarantine. So this has been a true dream. It's a beautiful place to visit. My first time here. It's the amphetamine zombie apocalypse. Organized by Tel Aviv's One Night Only, Bianca Del Rio and Sherry Vine performed two shows. A smaller, more intimate performance at the Tel Aviv Museum of Art, and a second sold-out show at the 2,500-seat Charles Bronfman Auditorium, making drag herstory, with the first drag show to be held at Tel Aviv's Cultural Palace alongside 11 of Israel's fiercest drag queens and kings. I've met a lot of them today because there's 11 of them performing. They've all been nice, which is scary. I don't trust a drag queen. Ah, see? There's no loyalty amongst zombies. But they've all been very nice, and they're performing in the show this evening, so I'm excited. And they range from 19 years old to 50 years old, which is pretty impressive. So I can't wait to see them perform. I'm looking forward to it. These people have no idea what they're looking forward to. Drag culture has been growing in popularity, not only in Israel, but globally. Well, it's pretty amazing the way the drag is blown up. Uh, drag is kind of everywhere now, and I think uh, television is a huge platform, and RuPaul's Drag Race, which is one of the reasons why I'm here, it's just been amazing reaching so many people in every country there is. I was impressed by it. So uh, for my season, which was uh, seven years ago, it's been an amazing journey. I've been able to travel the world. It's unreal, and now I'm here talking to you. So it's just amazing that drag is now in people's living rooms and actually on stage for people to watch. So I'm all about it. I love all of it. Seven years all around the world in every living room. I hope people see what time it is. For those who missed Bianca Del Rio this time around, you're in luck. Bianca will be back for Pride in June 2022. And in November, two more members of the Drag Race family, Ginger Minge and Latrice Royale, have planned an appearance in Tel Aviv. Jesse Satin, I-24 News. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God. I will leave links to the full unedited clip below. God bless each and every one of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God.
that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 